All right, guys, so let's talk about some popular survival myths. First of all, I am a Green Beret, but I'm not a survival expert. I kind of bulldog my way through it. Before I say that, never say never, and never say always. Okay, sharks. I'm a dive instructor. I do a lot of stuff around sharks. The, the, the idea of to punch a shark in the nose when it comes after you, there is validity in that. You gotta remember, sharks are, are, are interesting creatures. Around their line right here above their mouth and going back from their eyes is called a lateral line. It's actually kind of a neurological net that can pick up a lot of vibrations. It's very sensitive uh, electromagnetically to, to the currents around it. That's where it picks up a lot of sense. That's how it actually finds its way in the world. So if you do get up mess with the shark, it is good to strike them. Do me a favor. Don't punch it like a ninja because you're basically gonna feed it your hand. All right, uh, big mouth, little hand. Okay, so what you wanna do is, is, is use very big overhand strikes to strike down on it. So even if you miss the nose, you can still hit it back here. Its eyes are very sensitive. Basically, if that shark gets in your face, get in its face and there's a good chance it's gonna get go away. Biggest thing is do not mess with a snake. Unless, of course, you're the Thai recon guys because that's what they do for a living. Try not to mess with snakes. Be aware where they are. Do your homework. Know what snakes are in the area. If you do get bit, the old adage of like being able to cut the wound and suck the venom out, not so much. The reason is that venom's already in there. It's on its way to the lymph nodes and, and, and your circulatory system. By you cutting it, you're probably gonna make, you will make things worse. You're just gonna damage the tissue. Really, the best thing to do, if you can, is to get out of the area as soon as you can. Keep your heart rate low, if you can, and find the nearest place where you can get anti-venom. A lot of thoughts on constricting bands or not. A tourniquet is not a good idea. A tourniquet actually shuts off all circulation. A constricting band just slows it down from going back to the heart. Have an evac plan, so if it happens, you're gonna survive. 